We are now ready to begin the investiture ceremony for the 2018 recipients of the Order of the Northwest Territories. My name is Tim Mercer. I am the Clerk of the Legislative Assembly of the Northwest Territories and Secretary to the Honors Advisory Council. I will serve as your Master of Ceremonies for today's uh, proceedings. I will now ask our Sergeant at Arms to escort the Honorable Margaret Tom, Commissioner of the Northwest Territories and Chancellor of the Order of the Northwest Territories into the chamber. Please rise and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem and the recital of the prayer. So, the Santa de Sanets in the Guanachi. Did they get that Zenezen got Gane on the Don't Shangots and Yende on the Did they get that Duny Watson, Goods and again the Safin, Goods and again the Massines in Fonte. But that did they get Don't Halani, Giki Hoods on the Asinat Shagging on the Chinkin that Sunke. I is on the Massines in the Quinte. Amen. The Order of the Northwest Territories was established in 2013 by the Territorial Emblems and Honors Act to recognize individuals who have served with the greatest distinction and excelled in any field of endeavor benefiting the people of the Northwest Territories or elsewhere. It is the highest honor awarded exclusively to residents or former residents of the Northwest Territories. Recipients of the order will receive a medal, a pin, and letters patent signed by the Chancellor of the Order and stamped with the seal of the Northwest Territories. A member of the order is entitled to use the initials ONWT after his or her name, which signifies membership in the order. This year's investiture is particularly unique. For the first two years of its existence, up to 10 members could be inducted into the order. Commencing this year, however, a maximum of three, years, uh, three individuals may be inducted into the order per year. This year is also unique because just this past week we were advised by Rideau Hall that the Order of the Northwest Territories has now been officially recognized within the Canadian Honor System and the Order of Precedence. Therefore, the Order of the Northwest Territories now has official status throughout Canada. So far, the following individuals have been inducted into the Order. Former Commissioner George Tuckeroo, Mr. Bruce Green, Mrs. Lucy Jackson, Mr. Sonny McDonald, Mr. Gino Pinn, Mrs. Ruth Spence, Mr. John Bezo, Ms. Nellie Cornway, Mrs. Jan Sterling, Mr. Anthony Whitford, Dr. Marie Wilson, Mr. Paul Andrew, Mr. Russell King, Ms. Linda Cooey, Mr. Jeff Phillip, Mr. Tom Zubko, Mr. Fred Carmichael, and Commissioner Margaret Tom. 
When the order was first established, these were exactly the caliber of individuals that were thought of as the most deserving of our highest honor. And this stands true with our inductees today. As we proceed with the ceremonies today, I will ask each of this year's recipients to remain seated until I call them to come forward. We will begin with Mr. Les Carpenter. At the time of his passing, Mr. Carpenter was a resident of Yellowknife and is nominated for his work in communications. Mr. Carpenter fulfilled many roles as a Northern leader, most notably with the advancement and support of Northern Aboriginal broadcasting. After high school, he began his career at CBC in Nuvik and became a Northern celebrity hosting, Saturday night, hosting, hosting the Saturday Night Request Show. Mr. Saturday Night, as he became known, often traveled to communities to host the show live and was very popular when he decided to host from various correctional, correctional centers across the North to help connect inmates with their families and friends. In 2009, he served as CEO for the Native Communications Society of the Northwest Territories and fought for stable funding for CKLB radio and its Aboriginal language content. Most recently, in addition to his work with the Native Communications Society, Mr. Carpenter was appointed to the Oversight Committee of the Independent Assessment Process for Indian Residential School Claims. He spent his entire career developing and demonstrating the understanding of the power, potential, and responsibility of communications. Les was nominated on uh, April 30th and passed away shortly thereafter following a brief battle with cancer. He is the first person to receive a posthumous induction into the order. I will now ask his brother, Merle Carpenter, to step forward to accept the order of the NWT on Les's behalf. Ladies and gentlemen, Les Carpenter, Order of the Northwest Territories. Mrs. Lillian Elias. Mrs. Elias is a resident of Anuvik and is nominated for her work in arts and culture. Mrs. Elias is an educator, a specialist in Inuvialuit Inuvial 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 traditions, <laughs> easier said than done, and a fluent Inuvialuktun interpreter and translator. She is an advocate for languages and is a member of the Atosik Inuktut Titarsik task group of representatives negotiating the unified written form of Inuktitut. Lillian is an elder and language specialist and travels with the Inuvialuit Communications Society team which produces films on Inuvialuit traditions and cultures. She is also part of the original group of Mackenzie Delta drummers and dancers who began the revitalization of the western style of Indian drum dance. Mrs. Elias was part of the survivors group interviewed in the documentary We Were So Far Away and was an important contributor to reconciliation following the residential school experience in the Northwest Territories. She has also contributed to the NWT Senior Society and the Pauk Tutit Inuit Women's Association. Mrs. Elias, please come forward. Mrs. Lillian Elias, Order of the Northwest Territories. <laughs> Ms. Sharon Firth. Ms. Firth is a resident of Yellowknife and is nominated for her work in sports and recreation. 
Ms. Firth is a cross-country skier, a member of the Gwich'in First Nation, and was among the first Indigenous athletes to represent Canada at the Olympic Games. She, along with her sister Shirley, were members of the first Canadian women's cross-country ski team and went on to compete in four Winter Olympic Games between 1972 and 1984. Sharon is a strong supporter and advocate of sports and recreation for youth and is an active volunteer for the Arctic Winter Games, Ski North, Fast and Female, and the Territorial Experimental Ski Training Program. Ms. Firth has been recognized many times for her many achievements. She is a recipient of the Order of Canada and of the Queen's Golden Jubilee Medal, and most re recently received an Honorary Doctor of Laws degree from the University of Alberta for her outstanding contributions to sport and the NWT athletic community. Dr. Firth is an honored member of the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame and has opened doors for other Indigenous and Northern athletes. Sharon continues to promote healthy living through her work as Youth Programs Advisor with the Department of Municipal and Community Affairs. Dr. Firth, please come forward. Dr. Sharon Firth, Order of the Northwest Territories. I will now call on the Chancellor of the Order of the Northwest Territories, the Commissioner, the Honorable Margaret Tom, to address us. Thank you, Mr. Mercer. Greetings, respected elders, distinguished guests, family, friends, and colleagues. It is my pleasure to be here today to present these honor awards to such outstanding individuals from the Northwest Territories. I congratulate each and every one of you and thank you for the work that I know you will continue to do, the work that will benefit all Northerners and the Northwest Territories. Masicho Kwanani, Kwana, merci beaucoup. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. This marks the end of today's investiture ceremony. The next call for nominations will be open early in the new year. Please go to the Legislative Assembly's website to find more information about the order. I will now ask you to please rise for the departure of the Commissioner. I'll ask the recipients of the order to please remain in the chamber for official photographs. To our guests in the gallery, please join us in the Great Hall for a reception. We are concluded. Thank you. <laughs>